If you're displaying dynamic content where you don't know the exact size it will be or when handling different size devices, it can be useful to display the image at a fixed aspect ratio so that you know how your design will appear for your users. We've already covered using scale type such as center crop to make the content fit within an image view, but how do we enforce the size of the view itself? To do this, we can easily subclass image view to enforce a given aspect ratio. Let's walk through an example of always wanting our images to show with a free to aspect ratio. That is, whatever width it's given will set its own height to be two thirds of this. Let's create a new class, um, we're calling it free to image view here, and we'll extend from image view itself. Now we'll generate all of the required constructors to handle creating this view from code or from XML. Now the key part, let's override the on measure method. We'll unpack the width we're given and then calculate two thirds of this as the free two height. We'll then say that our views height wants to be exactly that two thirds of the width height. We then pass these on to the superclass to handle the rest of the measurement pass. To use our custom class, we use our fully qualified name in the tag and follow the convention of setting 0dp as the height as this declared value isn't used but has to be provided and the view itself will then calculate its height later on when it measures itself. This is similar to how we used weights in lesson 1 to fill the space in a linear layout. We set 0dp as the unused size because the weight would fill it in later. We'll go into much more detail on altering your layout for different size devices in lesson 5.